Welcome to Nowey's Dive Team Report. I'm your host, Greg Martin. There's an old saying in the dive industry that if you want to make a million dollars, you need to start with two. It's a long road to success for dive shop owners, and it can take a bit of grit to see yourself through the lean times. One dive shop has managed to remain on top and stay successful. Al Jeffrey with Florida's Scuba Quest Dive Centers may have discovered the secret. It's not really a secret. It's it, my, my bottom line is treat people how you'd like to be treated. But above and beyond that, assuming you're doing that, uh, you're in an industry that you make your own customer. I mean, you teach them to dive, you teach them diving, sell them dive gear, and take them diving. It should be fun, should be adventurous, and should be exciting. And with that, hopefully you're going to make the retail sale. And that's Honestly, what it comes down to for us, it's, it's really building your customer and making the retail sale and taking them diving or getting them off to a safe dive trip. Gear sales, of course, are really important parts of any local dive shop. But, Al, what about instruction? Instruction is extremely important. It's obviously the backbone of this industry and to develop your clientele. And a good instructor makes all the difference in the world. And whether it's NAWI, PADI, SSI, YMCA, it really comes down to the instructor and what they're putting into it. But fortunately, with NAWI and the relationship we've had with NAWI, uh, that's our strong suit. NAWI gives us the freedom to be a great instructor. And I think it would be important to create a strong relationship with those new scuba students to bring them back time and time again for classes and new gear. We do our absolute best to, and really that, uh, you know, coupled with the diving instruction, it is a relationship business. Uh, I sometimes use the analogy of it's like the old show Cheers with Norm and the, and the gang from that bar. People want to come in, hang out, talk to each other and share stories, share experiences. And really that is what it's about. And, and a, not unique to us, obviously, but any dive shop, you know, it's a culture, it's people enjoying one another, getting to know one another and through diving, through a common shared interest. So what brought you to diving in the first place, Al? Well, for myself, it began as a native of Florida and living on the coast in Sarasota, uh, just experiencing the water, the Gulf Coast there, and really uh, recreationally, uh, lobstering, spearfishing, exploring, things like that is what led me into diving and what keeps me into diving now. My kids are diving and my family. And, and one of the, to expand on that a little bit, one of the fun things now, we've been doing this since 1986, 29 going on 30 years, is uh, in the shop now, I'm seeing actually uh, kids and grandkids, actually grandkids of people I taught in the late 1980s. So it's kind of cool when you see that generational aspect going on. And that all harkens back to developing and maintaining that relationship. That's the funnest part it, for me. and. Uh, and, and in teaching and working with people, it is, a, again, a relationship business. And hopefully you can make money at it, have fun at the same time. So, Al, if you could change one thing about the dive industry, what would it be? Change one thing about the industry. Yeah, it's, it's in a bit of a transition with, with um, the e-learning and, and the old school philosophy. We need to get some new young blood in there. And that's the old dinosaurs are we're starting to fade away and we need to get some young and up upcoming people to carry this industry forward. Thanks, Al. Find your local Nowy Dive Shop and start that lasting relationship today. And that's this episode of Nowy's Dive Team Report. I'm Greg Martin. Thanks for listening. I'll see you underwater.